hello and welcome back to my swing corner if you're new you're also welcome thank you for stopping by today's tutorial is going to be me showing you how to draft cut and also sew that's them the inverted box plate you can see on this on the screen okay so i have a sketch uh, of what it looks like not like a sketch okay so i drafted this just real to explain it better okay than a sketch so this split this cat has six splits okay for the front at the front piece okay you can see we have one here we have two we have three we have four we have five and we have six so if you want to achieve what you can see on the screen you can actually make alterations to it but if you want to achieve the exact thing there you're going to make sure you have six splits at the front piece and then six plates at the back so that way you put your zip at the side so that the zip allowance or the zipper will not alter your pleats i hope you understand okay in other words that means you're going to be drafting your front and back skirt separately okay not the regular one of just cutting one piece and pleating it all around and then closing it at the back okay okay i have my pattern paper and i'm going to be sharing with us the measurements you should take okay so now, to know the amount of fabric you have to cut out, okay, or to fold, you need your waist circumference plus allowance you want to use to pleats, okay? So already I said you're going to make six pleats, okay? So that means if you want to give two inches allowance for each pleat, you're going to add was two times six, that's 12 inches for the pleat for the front, okay? If you want to make it three inches for your pleat, that'll be three times six because you have six pleats here. So that means you're going to give 18 inches for the other ones, okay? So you're going to need your waist circumference for this front. You're going to you're going to divide your overall waist circumference by two and share it for the front and the back skirt. Now, first thing, you, you fold your fabric so you can get the center. So you're drafting, remember we're drafting the back and the front separately. So you notch the center, okay? So that way you can open it up. So at this point, you're going to mark your allowance for the pleats to the left and to the right side of your center, okay? So whatever allowance you want to give it, you mark it. So I'm going to use 1.5 inches because this is a small measurement, okay? So you can go, you can use two or three inches for yours, okay? Let me just measure it at the base so that we can have it equal. Okay. So if you are pleating your fabric, give it a good press. Okay, remember to do that. So you check the back to be sure it's well laid as well okay okay so you can see that already we are fleeted on that center piece okay so this is what we just did the center piece is what we just did so now you're going to share your waist your uh, measurement your waist circumference measurements for the front into two again so you know you already you've already you have half of your waist circumference now you're going to divide it so that you can have for those parts and for the other parts okay so whatever you have for this part you will not divide it into two again so for me i'm working with waist circumference of 18 inches overall 18 inches so divided by nine for the front is where well, divided by two for the front is nine inches so that nine inches now i'm going to share it for this side and this side that is 4.5 here and 4.5 here so that would be two quarter two quarter so i'm gonna mark that two quarter i hope you understand two quarter then i'll mark my pleat allowance then i'll mark my pleat allowance and i used 1.5 there you know like we did you can mark it at the base as well so that you have it equal so you know i took two quarter and then 1.5 
okay so that it can be equal In this case, the pleats will be going in, okay? As you can see, then you lay it on this one, okay? For this one, you know, we're supposed to measure the two quarter that is remaining for this side, for this half of the front piece. But you're going to take your allowance first, your pleats allowance, before you take your other measurements. And that's because you can see that the pleats should face this one okay i'm going to mark out the 1.5 for the pleat allowance and then the two quarter for my remaining waist measurements okay do the same thing at the base you measure out the allowance first and then the two quarter okay I'll just go ahead and pleat this to face this um to face this one okay just fold it to face it all right so that's it you can see that one side is ready okay so you can see this side is ready so i'm going to do the same thing i did here on this other side okay you can see we have what six plates we have one two three four five and six okay so you are going to have extra allowance here okay for your ease and sewing allowance okay so for your band now you determine the band height you want okay? but for this one i'm just going to make it 2.5 after the folding so here i have six inches for the length okay i have six inches here as you can see so and that's because by the time you fold it you send half inch on both sides to you know join it to the skirt so if you have some if you have an interface in that so make sure you make, make use of it so that you can give your band a bit of stability and then you fold in half inch on both sides of your band okay remember you're also cutting the band for the front and the back separately okay so that you can join it at the side after folding your half inch like this then you fold it okay can you see okay so Fold it like this so that you can attach it to your skirt. Okay, you're going to be sewing on that half inch, so you can decide to just mark out or rule out half inch on this one so that you can get it perfectly well and then you stick it together. Okay, that's it, guys. And with this, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. If you do, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you in the next one all right